the, the name uh, the name naked practitioner we've um, we've looked at this a little bit but we haven't um, we haven't sort of reviewed the bigger picture of of inspiration and the role that uh, that Ernest Holmes the founder of Science and Mind has actually played in the name of of our blog, The Naked Practitioner. Tell me about that. It's really true, the whole concept of inspiration. And it, for us, The Naked Practitioner, people have asked how the name came about. It kind of dropped in from out of the blue in that space between thoughts. We didn't sit down and say, let's come up with a name. The name came to us. And that's the sure. shift of intellect. How do we think about this? We've got to make a list. we got to go to a name of list. That's inspiration is when it comes to you. Rather than going to the name, the name comes to you. And that's getting naked beyond all labels, definitions, and linear ways of thinking and allowing um, the knowledge from beyond to flow through you. And that's the idea of the naked practitioner, to enter that space, to let go of all precepts, to stand in front of a mirror and see no image reflected back, and ultimately this is all the mirror through thought. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing reflected back. And Ernest Holmes talks about it in a statement he made, which is so beautiful and so applies to our blog. He stated, I have listened to the great silence, and in the deep places of life, I have stood naked and receptive to thy song, and they have entered my soul. Whew. Well, So we're talking about the song of life, the song of the universe, which we come to hear in the silence. Absolutely. And acknowledging... Ernest Holmes is the first naked practitioner. In a sense, yes, his teachings are all about letting go of the values, the beliefs that we have that hold us into the past precedent and keep us from being present in the future. And when we're not present in the future, the potentiality, or present in the present, the potentiality of the future becomes trapped in the past and can't unfold. So it's getting it, letting go of past presence, staying in the present principles of truth, mm -hmm. that all is one, that we are one, and in that oneness, the future comes into the present moment as all possibility right here and now. Perfect. That's getting naked in consciousness. It's finding the I am possible. Now, on that note, we're out of time. So. Until next time.